everybody. How's it going today? Thanks for watching another video. Just picked Ian up. Uh, Taryn and uh, Eli have doctor's appointments here this morning. So Ian's going to be with me for the rest of the day. Right, Ian? Yes! What are we going to work on today? We're gonna, heading over to the heifer barn now. We're going to check. We've got that pump running. I'm going to go... Uh, it should be close to empty probably gonna go shut it off here or at least take a look at the manure level see when we need to shut it off it's uh, hopefully the last stretch of cold weather here the next four days we have a high of negative five Fahrenheit and then after that we're into March so hopefully uh, that's it for cold weather this this winter but we'll find out got the Carhartt guard gear on here today right Ian because it's cold out Doggy. Ramsey with also. Doggy. I'm gonna go check that pump, okay? I'll be right back. Okay. You stay with Ramsey? Yeah. Okay. Nothing too special going on today. Just uh, a normal cold winter day on the farm. We have we have to go check a, a foamer in the parlor that we use for pre-dipping. One of the three is not quite foaming like the other two. I think I've got an idea what it is, but we'll have to check that out here when they're done milking uh, before lunchtime. And they're picking up our, uh, our uh, crossbred baby calves. I'm just gonna go over to the barn and see how many there are. How many calves are there, Ian? One! How many in total? Can you count them? No, these ones don't have cats. Two cats there, two, two? cats there. Okay, how many yep. now? That one. one. What's that total? Two, two, and two then. You have to count the total, Ian. So these are, uh, this is a female, a heifer calf, a bull calf. These are the crossbred calves. We sell these. Uh, they're picked up once a week, uh, whether they're female or male. And they, most of these would be limousine Holstein crosses. Some are Angus Holstein crosses. We we pair them up in the in these pens here. Usually in the summertime, we move them outside in in uh, group pens. But with uh, cold weather, we keep them in here, and they're uh, picked up out of here. So we'll. There was uh, two, four, six. This one was born this morning. I'm probably gonna leave this one home because she's pretty wet still. Eight. And this one was just born, not even tagged yet. So, uh, looks like it's eight today. Usually it's a few more, but it's been uh, kind of slow calving here the last uh, last couple weeks. Why do why do some of them have jackets on Ian and some of them don't? Because these ones are big already. Those are big already? Yeah, but not these ones. These are tiny tails. These are still tiny? Yeah, and they need they need jackets? Yeah. These ones don't need jackets. No. Because these are big already. They're big already? How do they look, Ian? How do they look? Good. They look good? Yeah. Yeah. Is Ramsey yeah. licking milk? I think that. So when they pick these calves up in the winter time, so that they're in this uh, area here with the heated floor, so it's not cold in here. But we'll put the jackets on them before we load them in. What is she doing? I think Daddy wants to eat it Ah, Ramsey's eating poop. <laughs> we'll put jackets on them before we load them up and then they're loaded into a... Uh, in the winter time they close the trailer up completely. And um, yeah, like I said before, two guys pick them up uh, every other week. And these calves are raised for beef, so they'll be raised till about uh, 13, 14, 15 months of age, depending on what size they are, and then they go for... Uh, for hamburger and steaks. Bye. What kind of calf is this, Ian? Yeah. That one 
bird is a black or a cow with white spots. With white spots? And yeah. what kind of cow is that? With white spots. Is it a milking cow? Yep, it's a milking uh, cow. And what were the other ones over there, the black ones? Beef Beef calves? Yep. Yeah. And the other ones are beef cows too. Yeah, all those black ones? That was true. We're late, we just missed him. He's just pulling away with the calves. We missed the calves, Ian. How many calves are left, Ian? I left a couple of them here. This one was born this morning, like I said before, and this one also this morning, but not, not that long ago, less than an hour ago. They just gave her a colostrum. Those calves are definitely too wet to uh, go on the truck today. Cows! Cowies! How's that look? Wow. Cowies! Yeah. Cowies! Yeah. Wow! Who is that? Who is that blue one? Yeah. Want to take a look? Yeah. No? That? That? Who is that blue one? Yeah. Oh, down oh. here. I hear it. It was this girl right here. Yeah. Hold it up so we can see her. Yeah. We could be yeah. She's excited. Oh, what a raccoon. What a raccoon. What a raccoon. That one's empty. Let's, let's go check on these brows. Oh, those are all empty. Let's check to this blue one. Wow, look at this one. Yeah. I like the blue coat. You like the blue coat? Yeah, yeah. I like his blue coat. Yeah. Oh, look at this one. Is that a nice red heifer? Yeah. Oh, look at his, look at her coat. Every time when uh, we have calves picked up out of here, we'll move these calves that are still in here to the other side, these empty pens, and then they'll clean this side out. And if it's warm enough, we'll clean with the pressure washer. But today it's, uh, even with the floor heat in here, it's too cold to spray with, or to clean with the pressure washer. So they'll move these calves over, clean it, put powder down, and then uh, get them ready for the next calves. In the parlor now, this is that dipper that wasn't working. On either side of this handle, there's a foam little piece that Ian's got in his hands here. So I opened it up, replaced those foam pieces, and now it seems to be working like it should be. We'll try it again just to make sure. Look, we're making foam. So that's how we want it to work. And now we're gonna go for lunch, right Ian? You hungry? <laughs> what are we gonna eat? <laughs> what do you want for lunch? Chicken nuggets? Yeah. yeah. We're gonna go have chicken nuggets for lunch. It's the next day here, back in our calf barn. Yesterday, uh, Jose Luis and uh, Lexi cl cleaned this side after the calves were picked up. And because it's so cold out, uh, didn't clean with the pressure washer. We just put uh, powder down on the floor. It's a uh, moisture absorbing powder. And then we put bales back in here, ready to go for the next next set of calves coming through. So we're on this side now. So these are, looks like this one was from yesterday, I think this one, this one from last night, probably she's kind of dried off already. And this one was just born. She's still pretty wet. So, like I said the other day, we, we keep the heifer calves in here for uh, a few days in the winter time, two, three days especially. Right now it's uh, like negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit. It was pretty cold last night. It's supposed to be cold again tonight, but Saturday, it's uh, Thursday today, tomorrow it's supposed to be cold, and Saturday it's going to start warming up again. Getting some snow again also, but not, uh, not too bad here. We're kind of right on the edge of a snowstorm again. It's, uh, 
in the South Dakota towards the Minnesota, South Dakota Minnesota border they're getting uh, one to two feet of snow over the next couple days here so I'm I'm glad we're on the edge of that one because we've had enough snow for the year already but uh, the road to Fargo is closed so I don't know what the milk trucks I don't know what their plans were they did load this morning roads are open to Jamestown so I don't know if they're gonna head to Jamestown and hopefully uh, they get the roads opened up by this afternoon it's supposed to be a lot less wind this afternoon but we'll see if, uh, if they can get those loads into Fargo today hopefully they can uh, like I mentioned yesterday we have uh, these uh, crossbred calves we sell these to uh, two uh, two farmers that raise them up for beef but we we will on occasion sell some to some uh, local ranchers also they're just uh, starting to calve in this area uh, typically the next uh, two to three months ranchers will be calving uh, around here and if they lose the occasional calf they'll uh, call me or call my dad to see if we have a calf available to uh, put on their cow or heifer so that they don't uh, yeah don't end up uh, having to either sell that cow or have uh, issues with, with mastitis or something like that they want to put a calf on the cow get the calf drinking off the cow if they can I don't like to sell too many like that because the the two guys that buy our, our calves we have a good relationship with both of them and they uh, buy all of our calves year round so I want to keep them happy but want to try to help out uh, the, the ranchers around here too if we can if they need a calf I think I'm uh, gonna end this video here I appreciate you guys watching and if you have any questions or comments post them down below I'll try to answer them as best as I can and uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next video